hi guys this is me sagar from scn real creation and this is the follow-up tutorial series of tps zombie shooter game and it is the last but we already set up all these things master weapon and uh, under this part we are going to set up uh, pickups so in order to do that uh, we need make some sockets uh, because uh, uh, when player overlap with some kind of uh, pickup so when he try to press F interact with that pickup so that needs to be stick with his back so in order to do that we need to make some you know sockets so open as the skeleton or whatever you name of your skeleton you have to open and we just need to use spine 3 right click add socket and I name this socket M416 this is only for M416 and right click and find where is the M416 gun okay after that you have to adjust this take your time to adjust uh, okay rotate this where you like you can leave it but I want here I like this way and some like this when you satisfied you can leave it safe okay second thing again we need one two more sockets add one more and name AK-47 AK-47 right click add preview asset AK-47 adjust location you can click on this word location I think it looks better it looks better okay <clears throat> save and um, we need one more socket into spine 3 right click sorry add socket and here we uh, I think use this socket yes and we just add UZ where I, where I put that UZ mm -mm. yeah here this one put this somewhere uh, here and if you want you can rotate this as well you can pause this video and and try to locate your weapons according to your needs I said like this it looks good okay then save everything and remember the name of uh, a M416 AK47 and this one so this is the pickup location whenever you pick something it will stick on on that locations where we set pick you you know pick up sorry so 
if you want to see here we an eclipse socket so we need to set the name into here an eclipse socket go into hand we will make this later but and to pick up we are setting this for now so okay <clears throat> after that we just need to do some codes into here into here just delete everything and we just need to use this and click on spare and go into component begin on component begin overlap okay and we also use this also so here we just cast over character cast to as z character you have to cast your your character copy paste and <clears throat> we just uh, you can you can also use this promote to variable as g reference save this save here also whenever this character overlap we save his reference okay after that we need to use this widget set visibility whenever our player overlap this we just need to show widget and after that we have we need to make one pick up or can pick up can pick can pick if we can pick it is true and same thing here we can't pick when we are not overlap on this so after this pickup we need get input enable input unable input so it will enable input for this master vp get player controller if it is yeah okay so whenever we overlap we enable an input for this uh, uh, blueprint so in order to do that we just need to make one interaction input right click interaction right click press F we use F key to interact the item so open this now interact so whenever we press when we overlap then it is and then this will work otherwise it won't work because we we disable this here so branch can pick is true when it is true then fire this and false don't fire so <clears throat> if you forget this it won't work your input not working into here so remember this you have to put enable input here so save and we need one function we use this we have to create one function or event so we are going to make one event type t dot so custom event and pick up item <clears throat> pick up item 
and we need to make one BPM reference object reference okay new item name it new item save so this is the reference of the of this item so <clears throat> call it dot call that event and here self get reference to self save so open this so you can also save this in uh, weapon cache if you want so this is a cache of cache of that weapon <clears throat> after that uh, we need to you know spawn spawn actor from class <coughs> sorry <clears throat> and uh, we need to make some variables after this but we can use this and we just call that item weapon item item i think i name it weapon info yeah get weapon info which we created this this is the weapon info all this so we need overlap actor weapon info and you can break it or you can just split it but break here we break and we need only a class for now for testing purpose and unhide all other stuff because there is a lot of stuff so just unhide all and we don't know the transformation so it will give you error when you compile it <clears throat> so we need some transformation so get mesh okay get socket transform here we use this unicube socket name put it over here and here leave this rts world save now error is gone so we have to put an equip socket name into each gun so <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> i got called <coughs> into ak47 an equip socket is ak ak47 save compile and save <coughs> sorry are here we need M416 M416 as you remember we create a sockets and here use that I I name like same because uh, it's easy to remember so you can put whatever you like so now it understand and don't remember save all sometimes you save uh, do some changes and you don't save it so your bp don't get that changes so you have to save every time when you change something okay after that we just this is the first weapon we got so we need to you know we need to first <clears throat> promote this to variable and name it primary weapon for now oh man primary bp okay 
<clears throat> we need primary secondary and all other also so after this we just need to attach two component and parent with this mesh <clears throat> and here we need this control C control V okay so sorry we don't need this we need this one control C control V okay use this mesh already here just to plug this and and hide hide other thing so here we need snap to target snap to target and snap to target <coughs> so we we use the anycube socket and it will stick into the back attached to component so we need to test this okay so first of all we need to put weapon here first of all we need to make this big like five or five yeah five five and build light again otherwise it will show some errors okay light is done so put the other gun also so when i overlap this so did you see perfectly but we need to destroy that weapon which we pick up so after that one thing i notice uh, when you put we need to make this you know uh, widget uh, we need to off its collision sometime ui also collide with something but here overlap all but sometime it bugs or down the size 180 by 100 Uh, and uh, into the weapon BP after we pick up use weapon cache and destroy it destroy actor so when you pick it will destroy from ground okay like this <clears throat> oh, so I wrap this video from here Thank you guys and we will continue this into next part.